Angelo here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to your my stream. So here I am, and I'm here with Mono. What's up? And we're basically just talking about uh, the end of our boy, the uh, sass master, the trash talking master, the good old trial master. Uh, ultimatum's over. Sadly, homeboy's not going to be moving over to standard. Probably because uh, I wrecked him twice. Well, there's that. Sadly, I'm I I, I got I I owe him a rubber match. You know, sadly I. I was trying to do some good old-fashioned safe leveling, dad gaming, as they say, and just take my time and get to level 97 before the league ends. And then, of course, naturally, on my, what, tier 14 map or whatever, tier 12 map, I get him again. Like, the lowest chance to get him. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, I, I died due to just... I, I don't know, I, I couldn't regen anything. Like, like, none of my energy shield was coming back. I guess I messed up by not dropping my, uh, what was it, my siphoning trap. I probably could have, but then again, I don't even know if it would have done anything. Because, like, literally, I, I had zero regen. Nothing was happening. So, probably that would probably be the only thing I can do. But, like, at the time, I was just so so dumbfounded. It was like, uh, what's happening? I don't know. But I guess that's the sass master. He left an impression. I owe him one more battle, and I'm going to whoop his ass next time I see him. But I'm, I'm sure he'll be back. So, uh, since this is the first league where you played throughout the entire league, uh, what did you like about the league? I mean, honestly, this is Path of Exile, in my opinion. I was told not a lot of people liked it, or just people were saying they didn't like it. Or I, the, I guess the best way I could describe it is that, did they nerf Harvest or something like that? And they nerfed a bunch of things. Suppo supposedly, you know, the nerf hammer came down, but it was big enough to the point where people couldn't use the min-max builds. And I'm assuming a lot of people didn't like dying. Because uh, that's kind of a weird thing. Like in, I guess, Trade League, the not hardcore. It's calling it softcore is just so weird. I still always say that every time. But the Trade League where you're allowed to die, I was told some people were dying two, three, maybe even 400 times. And all I can think to myself is like, that... That's a lot of deaths, man. To, to quote the random people on the internet, I will choke the boss to death with my dead bodies. I'm, I'm not used to that at all. Um, so, if that's the mentality of the game, I know the way that uh, Expedition's about to come out. I can see that. It's like, try to keep your deaths under 100. Amazingly enough, I believe I kept both of my deaths under 100 in both leagues. So I'll have to double check how my uh, my necromancer was because that was literally no build guides, no nothing. It was just me trying to survive and do whatever I could get. And I was semi playing like a solo self found, but I was still in stand like a like a trade league, like I said. But yeah, it it's weird because like I feel like I came in at a time. Like, obviously, Path of Exile has been out for nine, like eight, years. Eight, eight, nine years now. And I guess people have done it all. They have done it all, and they, as that graph was showing, that power creep was real. Like, back in, back in the day, the axe were the game. And now people regard the axe like, ugh, I gotta, I gotta do the axe. Man, if only there was a way to skip it, jeez. But come on, man, the, the acts have story to it. Like, do you want, I mean, <laughs> I was about to say, do you want, it, you want it to be a battle royale? But hey, what do you know coming up in a couple of days? Well, actually, every weekend for this next league, we got a battle royale. So. Except for launch weekend. Except for launch weekend, correct, yes. But all throughout the entire, uh, uh, league royales there on the weekends. I make sense too because if you have that open the whole time, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it now. Everything they're testing and messing with right now, I believe they might have even said it. It has to be working out the kinks for Path of Exile too, 100. percent So that just makes me amped up to see what Path of Exile Two is going to be even more. And all these people that are bitching and complaining, you know they're going to be there at Path of Exile. You know they're going to be at every single league launch. They're going to just hate it, but you know what. What are you going to do? Well, well, that's that's kind of the reason why things needed to change. So the things that were big this league was obviously the nerf to harvest. But 
they also made Heist and Delve a lot more rewarding. Plus, they kind of did a, a tweak to Ritual where instead of just getting like a bunch of uniques or a, a bunch of things you didn't want, the, the stakes were higher as long as you were willing to continue with the, uh, I guess you would call it an instance. I don't know what you would call it. The encounter, however long you, you were willing to go through with the encounter. And with with those three things, I pretty much watching your stream, um, you pretty much just did maps, ultimatums, delve, and heist. And uh, pretty did, much heist. Uh, you did I, a shit ton of heist. I also did Alva near the end to try yeah. and level up my thing. I did a lot of Alva. The one I didn't do that much was uh, Einhar. You know, but props to Einhar. Einhar is kind of like, even though it's a master mission, he's still kind of just there. Like, the ones that I rarely do are like Thane, because I just don't see him enough. I guess I have to set up my Atlas to get a lot of Thane missions. And even though I want to do more Blight, I didn't get that many Blight maps. You didn't, you, you weren't farming the right area. Yeah, most likely I wasn't farming Was the, it New Vastir or? No, New Vastir was, uh the delve areas that's okay. that's the one i ended up farming hard see i i think it's the fuck i forgot it's the one on the bottom no yeah but uh, i don't think it's proxima like a joris if not a joris it's the one below it i uh. i can't and it's not glenich cairns it's not the hamlet it's that one that i just keep forgetting about because i don't you know tears end oh okay tears end i think it's tears okay. end or is it Tyrion? No, I think Tyrion's end. I'm sure inside. you could just look at it and add it to the video later. Yeah, either which way. But but basically, you did enjoy doing ultimatums regardless of how much you lost. Um, I, I mean, like, if I could still find the clips of it. But yeah, I actually got those lines where the trial master is, like, making fun of you every way. Because I think I couldn't figure out how to get my build any further. I think I got to around, like, 70s to 80s. I died a couple times, but... well. Mainly I died and I lost out on all of the, uh, uh, that's when I got, I think I went from like 15 or 10, 10 or 15 deaths all the way to like 50. I, I swear, I think I lost every single ultimatum uh, at the, near the end of the axe to the beginning of maps. Every single one, because I could not understand how to survive in the higher levels, like from 50 plus. I I was trying to go life as a lightning trapper, but I still had, I think, flamethrower uh, flame trap and all sorts. Because I was trying every trap. I think I was still using seismic, uh, lightning spire. I was trying all those, but then I guess near the end, you just got to focus on one, try to get a six link, and just beef that one up, which was, for me, lightning traps. But you didn't just quit. I mean, you kept, you kept trying to figure out how to actually succeed in the ultimatums. Yeah, well, the, the, the biggest thing that I found out is that, like, it's not about the damage. You need to survive. If you don't survive, you can't, you can't win. You, so, like, then I focused everything on how to get energy shield. And that's one of the first times I looked up a build, and that was the one time I found the 3.14 uh, lightning trap build. There's only one, and, and, God, I keep forgetting the guy's name. The guy's name started with an O. But, yeah, that guy's a beast. I didn't follow it word for word, but I just kind of took the advice on how he made it, and I kind of just built my own way around it. Because I think everybody, again, like I always talked in that last video I made, Talking about the uh, my live reaction, my immediate thoughts after uh, seeing the 3.15 um, uh, announcement, I was talking about how like flame dash is in every fucking build, and I don't like it. I personally don't like it. Maybe because I'm I'm one of those you know rebellious people, or you know. Well, you, you sometimes if you press it too many times, you end up in a place you don't want to be in. Well, I, I tested it last league during uh, Ritual League. I was testing it with, um, I think it was my. Because I was, I was trying to, you know, be a, what's the word where you have, like, uh, a theme? I was trying to do a theme build. So, like, I think it was uh, AGL Jock on my first Marauder I was trying to mess with. I was trying to see if I could make him, like, a full fire guy. And I gave him Flame Dash. But it's kind of weird because, like, I guess you, you can dash, but then sometimes you can't just auto dash. It dashes wherever it goes. So, I don't know. It was kind of weird, so I had to get used to it. And there's two, two times and you can kind of get stuck. So, to me, I know, what was it? With uh, Frostblink, you're going whatever direction that, <laughs> that mouse is. There's, there's nothing else about it. No screwing around. That's it. So I, I just like it. I like the, the effect. I like the cold, the chip, everything about it. So, And then with uh, 
with the trial master himself, did you enjoy all the effort put into voice lines for one character versus voice lines spread out between a cast of characters? Both. I mean, even though I disliked Heist when I first played it in 3.13, I guess, right? Because now we're... no, uh, Yeah, 3.13. Now we're playing 3.14. Well, now 3.14 is over. But then when I played in 3.1... I guess also here's the thing. If you could survive and actually do the content, everything's better. Because when I was playing on my Necro character, again, just straight my own Necro character, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just playing, doing my best. I had every someone you can possibly get. I had zombies, skeletons, specters, uh, golems. I, I had it all. <laughs> and uh, now, like, if I were to remake it, I'm definitely going to 3.15. got to add the Reaper in there. Uh, actually, I can't because he'll eat everybody. Oh, yeah, and I had Animate Guardian, I had Animate Weapons. I had so many things because I didn't know what it, I'm going to try at all. And whatever I like the most, I'll work on it. Thanks to this, like, overall passive tree, uh, passive skill tree system and the uh, potential for uh, Orb of Ragrets, I mean, you can't go wrong. So then, um, did you feel Delve was much more rewarding this league? I do. Um, I mean, su- surprisingly enough, you and I actually got, I, I got the six socket link, and... After that, a couple days later or whatever, we swapped over and then we went to your... Because you told me that you might have found, and we looked it up, you yeah. found the Six Link. Yeah. <laughs> the Six Link recipe. So now, during this league, not only was I able to do majority of all the content, not only was I able to do majority of the boss, although I fucked up trying to fight the Shaper, um, I had Maven on, and the first time I fought the Shaper, and just sadly, yeah, I all went to hell. I died a couple times. Um, Maven kept healing that guy. I just didn't do enough damage. And then when I was ready to possibly get back and beat him, the incense crashed. I, it sucks. But yeah, there, there went that. So I was like, well, that sucks. But yeah, then again, all these things happen. And the biggest thing is that you found that six link. Yep. I was able to go into your Before instance. Before depth 200. Too. Yeah, like he found it at like 190 something. Yeah. And then I found the six socket at like 180. Yeah, or something, something like that. that. It, yeah, it was, it was bef- barely before two hundred. Yeah, so I mean, like that's way better because now you have less time worrying about. Oh man, I got to go to like thousand depth to get this or you whatever. Know, I think it was after two fifty, after two fifty uh, in the last league. W- when I looked at it, it said two eighties to get right, to uh, like uh, well, the six link. Six link was specifically, and now in standard, and that's another thing. It's like, sadly, no one cares about standard. Standard. I don't know what they can do to buff standard because standard is supposed to be the the mode everybody wants to play, but now everybody just wants to play the leagues. Well, so. because there's also people who that are so far ahead with legacy items. I, I guess it's kind of the area for the whales and the people who've been around forever, kind of like that. I guess. But it's just I don't understand how you can have your main game just kind of trashed. Like, like everyone just says, oh, standard? I don't go to standard. I have a million, like, remove-only tabs, and it's like, damn. Well, well, imag- imagine this. Like, you, enjoy- you enjoyed the ultimatums, obviously, in the Trial Master, right? Yes. What if there are league mechanics that are only in standard? So, for example, they'll, you'll be able to do the old-school harvest, but only in standard. You'd only be able to do ultimatums in standard. Like, what if they did something like that? And then the new league mechanic is focused on, hey, uh, we have this new league mechanic, and then we want you guys to try an altered version of, let's say this time it's Blight, or this time it's uh, the Metamorphosis, or they're, they're going to buff Prophecies. Like, something different this time. That... Honestly, to me, that makes more sense. And then if people like the changes in the last one, it gets implemented into standard. So if you like that version of Delve, it's going to be in standard. That, if you that, like that, that version or, of Heist, or, it's in standard. Or Alkit, or, or Veil it, and, and it can turn into that version. Sure. You know, j- just have, have both options available. But then the thing that I have is literally no one cares about standard. And then now I believe all of our stuff is getting migrated over to standard since League End is today or was today. Or... Yeah, it's today. Yeah, so I mean, like everything's going to be moving over. But again, it's like, I, it's just sad to me because literally you have all these awesome, cool characters and items 
But a lot of people are like, I only care about the new league. Well, this is this is also different too. Your your mindset is different because you played all three months. You played throughout the entire league, and you're still slowly progressing towards finishing your entire atlas, finishing all the content. Um, you had help from get to uh, get a bunch of the challenges. So it's it's you're you're getting there. You're getting there. You're understanding the game more, and, and now you value the experience you spent during that whole three month league and 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 you know what honestly i wouldn't mind like kind of a month break between now and the next league could you imagine for example it's it's battle royale every weekend forever but there's a month break between the league and you basically they allow the player base to vote on what things what changes they liked um to the end game content so for example like they for example they fixed heist they fixed delve i don't did they fix the temple did supposedly they, the I, I, I think the alba missions might have gotten better rewards well i i know for sure heist was much more rewarding in 80 plus and Dell was much more rewarding after a depth 150 so um well in in that term, you can also see it because all the monsters are at level eighty three. That's yeah. That's tier fourteen, tier fifteen maps. Something like that, or tier that, thirteen. That, something that's something a around there. Good amount of exp, man. I mean, if you guys want to level, delve is the way to go. But of course, you need that soul fight. You need to adjust your atlas. So, I guess the other option is har- harbingers. Harbingers. Oh yeah, yeah. They could yeah. they could change that. I don't know. There's a lot. I I basically I I like the adjustments to heist and I like the adjustments to delve. That. That's for sure. And, and I did like the... Although it was very difficult to get the Trial Master fight, they did... I felt like they tweaked it at the end of the league because a lot of people were getting Trial Master fights at the end. Oh, were they? So okay. I guess we were rewarded for playing the entire uh, league. I so. guess, yeah. Although at that point, I wasn't ready for them. And yeah, yeah just... yeah they, they compl- And what's, what's really sad, too, is I, I wasted my uh get out of jail free card because i didn't think we were fighting him oh shit so and, okay. and it takes me a long time to build that yeah. back up kind of and i think i was only at 50 percent by the time we fought trauma so i was like or I, literally i used it before that so i didn't even have a quarter filled so i was like yeah, i was so it, screwed i guess you have to tally down how many trials you've done because since we're in a party it doesn't tell you if you're by yourself it tells you how many you're doing well it does yeah it, it, yeah i believe so i've because, never seen it because for me um when when I'm looking at it, it, it's blank, or I guess it doesn't ever tell you how many you've done I've, so far. I've never I've never seen. Uh, that I guess we have to tally them in our head then. Yeah. So that's a mechanic that we messed up on. I guess yeah, but so. I mean to put a to put the long video that we've already got going so far. I guess it's different if you play through the whole league, but I think it's also some people would say it's the honeymoon period since I'm still new to the game. We're still new to the game. Yep. And we haven't done anything. Here's the problem. I feel that once you feel you're a veteran, you know, and you've done it all, you've seen it all, you've beaten Sirius and, or Cyrus or, or ho- however you want to say his name, you beat Shaper, you beat Elba, you beat Uber at Siri, Uber, Elder, you beat all the, all the things. My question is, are those players then left empty? <laughs> because you've done it all. Now you want something, but then your build you use to get there is no longer viable because they nerfed it. Obviously, because it's the best build. Try something else. Uh, otherwise, right now, I believe Cyclone Jug was the thing. Not new. It's Cyclone Champion. Cyclone Champion. Cyclone okay. Champion. So, but it looks like Cyclone is still there. You're yeah. just going to pick and choose. And I know that Ball Lightning became a big thing. Obviously, if you could, if any of you guys saw Eris's stream and he would got the Hate Forge glove, he oh, was yeah. fucking wrecking with that. The, the Raider. Although I the... highly doubt that's going to be viable. I highly doubt anyone even got the Hate Forge gloves. I mean, I think you... there was only like 500 people who got it. So, like I said, a very, very fu- uh, finite amount of people actually are going to be able to run that. So, and then, whatever. And then this kind of goes into what you didn't like about the league. And it, it was mainly uh, not being able to get any trades. Um,. Not just a lot of people just not responding. Yeah, um, I I tried to be a, a cool guy for the uniques because I was told that uniques are all cost one chaos, and for some reason I have a really high rarity, so I pick up a lot of uniques. I pick them up, and if I already have it in my collection, I do have a unique collection tab. I'll sell it for one chaos, whatever, and 
I, I'll get out of maps and I'll be like, oh, you want this one chaos? Here you go, buddy. And a lot of people, surprisingly, a lot of people bought a lot of my one chaos items. I had a full entire stash tab. And then, like, I was constantly rotating in and out items, just like anything I found, put it in there. People bought it, put swap it up, boom, 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 boom. So that was pretty cool if it could work. Also, I finally was able to decorate my hideout. You were able to decorate yep. your hideout. Had we paid attention more, more attention to uh, how hideouts are found and whatnot, we probably would have found more, but we didn't know shit. We yeah. still don't know shit, but, you know. Well, we don't run a one map, like, a lot of times, and we also didn't run a lot of red maps the last league. Yeah, and so. I want to say last Ritual League, in terms of progress, I got to white maps and a few yellow maps. All on my own with my own necro character. This league, I made it to red maps. Not that many. I made it to a few tier 16 maps at the very end, end, but I didn't really multiply them or add any like alks or anything like that because I feel it's a progression. If everything's a progression, you can enjoy it. But if you just go straight to the end game, I feel you're you're really cheapening your overall experience and your overall enjoyment of whatever it is. So like. To me, it's like watching a movie but going straight to the end. Do you do you remember the movie? Do you remember anything from what was the point? But you went and did everything, but you just fast forward straight to the ending. You saw the ending and you and then you watched the credits. And now you're in the credits. Now you're seeing how it's all done. Now you, now you know everything, but it's like you're at the credits, man. <laughs> you missed the beginning, middle, and and uh the the conflict and then the re- then you made it to the resolution. I feel just enjoy the ride because now that you're at the credits all you hear is one song a couple songs and a lot of text and and i actually i actually agree with that because there's there's always going to be these veteran kind of goalpost content creators that everyone that has played the game for a while will aspire to be like they'll want to be able to fly through acts in three hours they'll, they'll want to be able to do th- this stuff but that just like in dota the casual player isn't watching every competitive match they don't know who the, who the next upcoming mids are they, they don't know that shit and it, it's the same thing with these guys um you you actually the uh ritual league you avoided any um content and and from the content creators you, you avoid any veteran content creators and you just play the game yes and and imagine imagine a a more casual player base just going through the acts and and playing the game and and not just gotta go fast throughout the whole thing and just enjoying content and not and not, and not really worrying about fighting cirrus or doing all doing all the bossing and, and all that shit um I, I don't mind the direction of that the game going that way, like having heist be very rewarding at uh, eighty plus, um, or the eighty level eighty blueprints and whatever, um, and then delve being very rewarding um, after one hundred and fifty. Um, I don't know what they can do with Alva. I, I I really don't. I, you like doing the temples and, and I, I all like the doing incursions, the it's, it's but cool. for yeah. me, it's it's whatever. I I really like doing blight. Blight's really fun, but yeah, I, it's just it, if they can slowly improve on all the different encounters or whatever the hell you want to call them, in-game content. Well, um, I, I don't mind that. Here's the thing, though. My question is, they are talking about power creep and all that stuff, but what about actually lowering the number of monsters, but giving them and i think this is what they're trying to do 3.15 i can't wait to play through the axe why because what do most people do when they go through the axe they, they have league starter builds. they have league starter bills and they just run through everything's dead what did they even do now here's the question what if they have only like let's say that in the area is 20 enemies cut those enemies to 10 but every single one of them do something like there's an archer in the back and he's shooting and running away from you there's a guy in the front with a big ass shield he's blocking your attacks and then there's two guys attacking you on the side, and it's like, oh, what the fuck? And then they're actually working as a unit against you. AI can do that. They, yeah. they, they could do that. I mean, and at least that way, then it's like, okay, I got a formation. I got to run around, get away from this shield guy. I got to take out the archer in the back. Oh, is there a healer or a rezzer? I got to kill that guy to make sure those other guys don't come up. And then circle back, and then constantly circle around. And, like, 
where's the strategy? Yeah, that'd it's be actually pretty fucking cool. action RPG, because right now, like, especially with Ultimatum, I understand why they're not going to bring it back. Because it's literally, here's 30 million monsters, kill them. And if you survive, you survive. Where's the strategy? It's like, okay, I just got to throw as many AoEs, pop as many flasks, I got to hit my fucking get-out-of-jail-free card with my uh, Veil uh, Discipline. But I think all these people are bitching and playing, oh man, we're not going to get this and get that. Are you playing for the experience and the fun and something that is unique? Or are you trying to just play something where I kill everything and er then there's lights all over the place and then I can run through maps in five seconds? If that's what you're playing for, I honestly think that you literally are one of the people helping to kill fun in video games. Well, and, and, then, and there's just two. So in, in Diablo 2... You just wanted wanted to play. You wanted to play a character. You wanted to play, and you just wanted to go through the, I guess, the the game. I guess you can call them acts. I don't know what actually they're they're. I don't remember what they were called. I'm calling it the campaign. Okay, the, the campaign. It's the campaign. But what did everyone else wanted to do? I, I know you remember what 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 the what the end game for Diablo two was. Cow levels. Exactly. So so now you have a way to do cow levels all week because i believe you can only do cow levels one day a week when it was open i i don't remember you can probably look this up and I, add it I, to the I, video i think later on they, they okay. opened it up but, it was a multiplayer but, thing but you it, just load the map in, or in the yeah in the beginning um from what i remember you can only do them once a week and you would party up with people who had access to it or or whatever it's it's been a long time yeah but yeah. back in the day so the the whole thing is if the game is more focused on the campaign, but as a veteran, you would like to do 40 out of 40 challenges. You would like to juice your maps like crazy. I, I don't mind that. But going forward, targeting casual players, making the acts more worthwhile to go through. Cause I would we, just say interesting. And not yeah. to mention, don't forget, story. Yep. If you just want something where you kill, kill things, go join a battle. <laughs> Uh, do do Path of Exile Battle Royale. <laughs> and, and also, another thing I wanted to bring up, the ultimatums were pretty fucking rewarding in the acts. They were very Absolutely. rewarding. That, that's all the times when I was able to get a six link. But of course, like I told you, I either the, the pressure got to me, you know, and, and I just couldn't couldn't focus because I'd be like, oh my god, this is a six link. This is the first six link I'm going to have during this new league. And I always choked and I died. Or I had a random lag spike. Or just, you know, I ran into a, a thing that blocked my path and I couldn't uh, get going. Or I ran out of flasks. Or, you know, just, you know, I got hit with something. I got stunned. I got frozen. And just, yeah, I died. But, yeah. What are you playing a game for? And now the video is really running long, but guys, we just had to get these final thoughts, the things that I liked, things that we didn't like, and just, if you're here and you're still still listening to, you know, two, I mean, my old word for it was semi-noobs, just rant and talk about our thoughts of the Ultimatum League and going in and where the future of uh, Path of Exile is now. I am hoping what we were just talking about here is what they're implementing. Make the game fun. Make the game fun and don't focus on what a small group of people who know life the game for a small amount of time do. Seriously. the If you wonder why they picked that Ziggy D guy to do the Q&A, you want casual players. You don't want this jaded veteran who's who's been here since... Uh, who was the end game? Oak. Uh. Oak was was the last boss. <laughs> I understand, dude. Respect. You've been here a while, but look, want to grow the player base. Want there to be more players, and and the only way you're gonna get that is you're gonna get casual players. And and it, this is why I think Dota died and, and League not not die, but they're not gaining new players. It's because they're too focused on the top top zero point one percent or. 0.01 percent because you can say it flatlined yeah the if you focus on well you're not as good as this person okay that's not why you play a video game. you play a video game to have fun if you want to compete if you want to be the best go for it but you can't push that onto new players like you had that viewer who only only did builds like he he was told by his brother yeah. to, to play the game and 
get a build and, and you do this build and get to maps. I don't think that's how you're supposed to play the game. I, I, I highly disagree. Yeah. You know, and I highly don't think that's how you should do it because if you do that, where is your originality? Because now you know too much. Like, I just saw that there was gems that, like, I saw Eris was doing it, and then it's like, how did you even get those? And my question, again, is just like, on my first ritual leave, people was like, oh, just get this or get that, get this. I'm like, how do I get that? And they're like, oh, trade. I was like, I, d I, don't, I don't understand how you get that. So if I don't understand where it came from, how am I supposed to know what it is or how hard it is to get or... I mean, hell, I traded for that chevron that I was using. The chevron's what, occult uh, wrappings? Yep. I still have no idea how you get that. I think Mono got one yeah, as a I, drop. I got one one of those in a Cloak of Defiance. Uh, Cloak of Defiance was in the maps, and then the chevron's was in Delft. Yeah, I think I got a, After a, a Cloak of Defiance, um, and I think I sold it for like an Exalt or two, yeah. and I'm like, Jesus Christ, is this how people are just finding just chevron's just like sitting around? I'm like, damn, all right. But, guys... Hopefully, if again, now if you're here this long, I definitely appreciate you. Thank you much. I'm not going to say all that other YouTube bullshit that everyone always says, but if you are here, thank you very much. Hopefully, let me know in the comments. Do you agree, disagree? Hopefully, you're not taking too much offense by us saying if you're one of those players that are a little too jaded and they only do builds. Hey, man, props to you. If you like it, I love it. But I just don't think there's any fun to be had there. I, I think literally you're you're capping your overall enjoyment and um, just creating league starters. Like, my goal in this game is to play a new class, a new type of character, new ascendancy, every single league. That's a lot of different type of characters and a lot of different play styles. And then I just kind of guess, I'm like, I'm going to do that, and that's the only thing I'm going to play, and I'm going to try and get that character to 100. And then whenever there's downtime or whatever, I'm going to go back to that character in standard and try and get them at least to, like, 90. Like, I have AGL Necro Chica, my Necromancer chick. She's 89. One of these days, I'm going to try and get her to 90. And every little by little, I'm going to try and get one more level, half a level, on those other characters in standard. Meanwhile, I'll be one, one character per league. I think that's the best way to do it. If you're new, obviously, if you can already get to, you know, maps in, like, three hours, be damned whatever I'm saying. But again... Let me ask you this. As all speedrunners, are they enjoying the game or are they enjoying the end? You don't want to speedrun to your death. Because <laughs> what's at the end of death? Nothing. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Mono, you got any other closing thoughts besides that? Well, that's it. And that's our overall thoughts, our fucking rant. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys out there. Later. Freeze. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human.